HitFirstBoxing.com. We're in the house with the one and only Saddam Ali. First things first, congratulations on a beautiful fight that's coming up at the Barclays Center. And it's your birthday today, right? As we say, happy birthday, big man. Who are you fighting this uh, Monday night? Jay Krupp. Um, not anybody I'm going to underestimate, but uh, I train hard. I know what I got to do. And I'm going to come victorious. So this fighter that you fight, pretty much, I mean, you know anything about him? Have you seen any of his fights? Heard he has a peekaboo style. Um, doesn't matter what style he really has, because I know how to work around any style. Um, I'm just going to go in there and do what I work on in the gym. So, Dom, we neighbors back in Brooklyn, dog, man. You know, you over there by Bayridge Ave. I'm on 95th, dog. Now, things like this. How did you get involved in the world of boxing? Tell the world. Well, I started boxing when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I started karate when I was five years old. So I was into the combat thing. I was living with a whole bunch of girls, my sisters and family. Most of them were females. So my dad took me to a man sport at eight years old. And from there, I just got, I just kept growing and got better and better. Boxing is just my sport. How many amateur fights you had? I have about 225 amateur fights, I'd say. And you was representing for the US Olympics. Definitely, first Arab American to ever represent the United States in the Olympics. It's a great accomplishment. It showed, I just wanted to prove something and I did it. And now you're down with Golden Boy Promotions, though. How are you feeling on that? I feel great. Um, I wouldn't want to be with anybody else. Um, I feel like they're going to move me the right way. They're going to put me in the right position. And I'm just ready to shine. I was ready to sign at the right time. And it was now. And here I am. The big fights that just passed two weeks ago, man, with you know Mayweather and Canelo. What you thought about that one? Well, I thought it was a big fight uh, worldwide. Everybody wanted to see it. Um, Mayweather just basically outboxed him. Maybe he's at the top right now, uh, but it was a good fight. And the fight before that was great as well with Danny Garcia. I grew up with him in the amateurs. Yeah, right. I mean, that was just amazing right there with D. You know what I mean? That's our boy from here on the East Coast. He's from Philly. we from here from New York. We represent for him. He was the underdog. Everybody had him saying that he's going to lose. I mean, only the real people that was behind him supported him, and he showed class, man. I mean, that was one of the biggest fights right there in my eyes. Definitely, definitely. It was a big fight. And he was the underdog for a couple of fights, but he, he proved himself, you know, and that's what, that's what a champion does, you know? So, Dom, tell the world, what are your plans for the next, say, two years? How do you see yourself in the world of boxing? Well, um, I signed for a reason. I signed to step up, and... Um, I'm just ready to take better fights and, and prove who I am. You know, there's a lot of people out there that know what I can do. There's a lot of people out there that doubt me. But that's why I'm here to, to prove who I am. Nice. Couple last words for your fans worldwide. Well, I just want to thank everybody uh, for supporting me. Also, come out to the fight September 30th at the Barclays Center main event. You won't be, you won't be mad, I'll tell you that. Thank you. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you.